couple of days ago, I bought my very first Logitech MX Keys Mini wireless keyboard, this thing here to be specific. And I used it for less than an hour, I think, and I'm already returning it. Here's why. With this keyboard, I was really, really hoping to get something that was low profile, silent, backlit keyboard that I could use for programming, typing, etc. But most importantly, I wanted the wireless feature and I saw on the box that it could run on both Bluetooth and also Logitech's own USB dongle this thing right here, the Logitech lightning bolt something something. Only issue is this tiny little thing right here doesn't actually come in the box. And this is the first issue right here. I took a very close look at the at the box. I've looked all around. It says wireless and it says support for both this thing and the Bluetooth. However, it doesn't say anywhere that the USB thing is not part of the box. It also does not say that it does come with the box, but I had to do quite a bit of research to find out that you actually needed this thing, which you need to buy separate, by the way. So do keep that in mind if you wish to not use the Bluetooth connectivity, which I didn't want because passwords and Bluetooth and yeah, not really something I want to do. So I had to buy that separately. However, once that was squared away, the feature that was nagging me the most started to come into action when I actually started using this thing. You see, it has the functionality of having the backlight automatically turning off and on, which, you know, sounds like a very good feature to have because it saves battery, etc. However, it turns off after inactivity. It turns the keyboard backlight off after five seconds of inactivity, which doesn't sound that bad. You know, once you're sitting there and typing away at the thing, it, it stays on. However, I was coding the other day when I was trying to use this thing. I was coding and it would turn off again at the five seconds, but it was so distracting. The light constantly, as soon as you took a little bit of a break to look on your monitor, seeing something, stopping using the keyboard, it turned the light off. And then as soon as you go close to the keyboard again, it turns back on, off, on, off, on. I'll show an example here on the screen as I'm talking over this. And I found it extremely distracting. Now, here's the worst part. You can't actually disable it in the driver. You can disable the light completely, but that is one of the features why I wanted this keyboard. However, the fact that it turns off every five seconds and flashing in my head or constantly while I'm doing other stuff is extremely distracting. And the fact that you can't disable that feature, not even in the driver, ideally on the keyboard itself, but if you need a driver for it, so be it. But even that you can't do, which is completely and utterly ridiculous. Finally, but this is, this is a small detail and that is just something that I find really annoying as well. It's the arrow keys. The arrow keys are just tiny, too small. And one might say, yeah, but it's supposed to be compact. Well, if you take a look at the Logitech MX Mechanical Mini, oh, look at that. They managed to fit the key, the, the arrow keys in just perfectly. And they even got dedicated home and page up and page down, which by the way, I use quite a lot and they have remapped it to the arrow keys, but come on, it, it, it would only get a little bit lengthier and that keyboard has it, but the main issue is the backlight. Other than those issues, it does feel like a great keyboard. It's not light, it's not heavy either. It's the perfect weight. It feels great to type on. It is fairly silent. It has backlight again. Um, just main issues. Backlight not being able to turn off the automatically disabling of the backlight. That is one issue. Two, not including the USB dongle or making it extremely clear on the box that you need to buy this thing separate, just that would be ideal. Three, including so that you can actually add a wire and run it wire, not wireless, but wired to your PC. Since the USB-C port is there anyway, you, you might as well just add that functionality, come on. And last but not least, the layout with the arrow keys are just weird. It's it's just weird. I think it is really sad because I, again, I think the keyboard is really good to type on and such, but it, it's just no, it's absolutely horrible for those specific reasons. So if you want my personal opinion and a use case of about less than an hour, definitely do not buy this keyboard. But there you have it. I hope that was helpful and informative and will help you decide whether or not to buy this keyboard or not. Or if you have bought it recently, maybe consider getting your money back, which is exactly what I'm going to do 
with this specific keyboard. But that's it. If this was informative, helped you in any way, be sure to leave it a like, greatly appreciate it, and have a good one.